Hello, in this video, we will cover the concept of adjusting entries. In fact, this is one of the most challenging concepts that most of the students, they face difficulties to understand. However, we will make it easier in this video. First, in order to understand why we're having the adjusting entries, we will start from an assumption, which is the time period assumption that states that the economic life of a business can be divided into artificial time periods, generally a month, a quarter, or a year. Also, it's important to differentiate between accrual and cash basis accounting. In the accrual basis accounting, transactions are recorded in the periods in which the events occur. For example, Revenues are recognized when earned, not like in the cash basis accounting that revenues are recognized when cash is received. Also, in the accrual basis accounting, expenses are recognized when incurred. In the cash basis accounting, it's when cash is paid. So here to recognize the revenue, it means if I'm delivering a product or a service, I'm earning revenue. And since to deliver the product and the service, we need a certain production process. So we need to have some expenses. This is why usually the expenses, they follow the revenues. Cash basis accounting is not in accordance with the GAAP or the generally accept, accepted accounting principles. This is why we will be based on the actual basis when we are doing the adjusting entries. The objectives of the adjusting entries, first, they are necessary because the trial balance may not contain up-to-date and complete data. And also it's important to ensure that the revenue recognition and expense recognition principles are followed. It means revenue is recognized when earned and expenses when incurred. Also, it's required every time a company prepares a financial statement, like have like this to have accurate numbers will include one income statement account and one balance sheet account it means the transaction will include uh, one income statement because i'm recognizing revenues and expenses and because it's a double entry system that we're having in accounting it means it will affect the assets the liabilities or even the owner's equity accounts now, the different types of adjusting entries, we can divide them into two main categories, deferrals and accruals. In the deferrals we're having, the first group, the prepaid expenses, means expenses paid in cash and recorded as assets before they are used or consumed. We can consider if we are paying one year rent. It means I'm paying cash for one year. However, I still didn't consume this rent service. This is why it's cash credit and prepaid expense. And here it's a prepaid rent and it's an asset account. It means if I leave after one month, they have to pay me back my cash. The second group we're having, it's unearned revenues and it's cash received and recorded as liabilities before revenue is earned. It means before that I provide the service or the product, they pay me cash. So the cash is increasing in this company. So this is why cash is debit. And in return, I'm not giving revenue. I'm not giving the product or the service. This is why it will be a liability. And this is why if I don't provide the service or this product, I have to pay back the cash. The third group we're having, it's accrued revenues. Revenues earned, but not yet received in cash or recorded. It means I'm delivering the product or the service. In return, I'm not getting cash. So I will have the accounts receivable, which is an asset account. The fourth group we're having, it's the accrued expenses. Expenses incurred, but not yet paid in cash 
or recorded. We can have the example of electricity. I'm consuming the electricity, it means I'm having expense. However, I will pay in a future period, next year or next month. But it's important for me to record the entry that I'm having an expense because expense is recognized when incurred. Like this, we covered the different groups of the adjusting entries. In the next video, we will have more applications in order to better understand. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.